This is going to sound crazy. It's not as bad as it seems. It's not as bad no, as it seems. No, that's not why we're booing. We're, we're booing Darren anyways. Oh, this okay. Will... All right. So game one here at PS2, Game & Watch, uh, Belmont. Uh, definitely probably a harder matchup than Belmont's into Pac-Man, but still kind of plays the same game and not necessarily going to be as worried about one of Pac-Man or Game & Watch's biggest tools being the up out of shield because Rick Belmont's never going to be on your shield. Oh, no. And as I was explaining that, I looked away and it's like Ojama losing that first stock already. Unfortunate. The thing is with with the Belmont Bonds on their down air. It's no longer a stall and fall, so it's a very big commitment, but utilizing this in air to great effect to try and punish Pat, Pat God for just any late late option and unfortunately getting trapped in the holy pair. Yeah, Drama. so um, if you shield it, it hits both people. <laughs> yeah, I mean, lands. if it primes, that's a great example of where it is a risk to both players, but Ojama really, I think they need to find their footing at, with these angled aerials and not really let Pack God just get any kind of confirmed that they want off of these down smashes or, you know, Nair and then falling into these, the up air chains. Because once you get juggled as the Belmont, it is a really bad time. Yeah, Pack God is playing a really good bait and punish game right now, though. He's just walking back just enough to bait Ojama in, but Ojama got to go ahead and clean up that first dog with the up air. I yeah. don't know if I've ever seen that move hit besides like an actual kill confirmed because of how small the hitbox <laughs> is, but Pajama said I know how to hit it. Yeah, I mean, it is a great move for the Belmont to try and find, you know, any type of confirm. You can go up, up throw into up air. It's a great confirm that uh, T3 Dom, you know, kind of the grandfather of the Belmont tech has been utilizing to great effect recently. Yeah, but I actually haven't seen much of his gameplay. Yeah, I mean. Uh, I've seen one or two clips. I think I saw him play one of the Steves at Major, but right yep. now, Jama losing their second stock to Game & Watch down air, a move that has taken many lives. Yeah, I mean, at least the good thing so far for Ojama is to realize that you're not getting gimped, which is the biggest fear in this matchup, and you are doing a decent job at pressuring Pack God on the ledge. Pack God just staying really, really at a good distance at, out of range of Ojama's threat radius, but if we we can't overcommit at all, and that's it for pa for Pat God. Anyone's so, game right now. So Pineapple's gonna lead to an even game right here. But Ojama, I think, definitely has had the momentum in this last stock, though. Like, definitely suffered from that early down air off stage. But like, they've been, and even with uh, Pat God having a good bait and punish, they've been consistently finding these hits that they need. Yeah, I mean, Pat God right now has to find a way to answer the cross in any way they can, but that might be it. Not enough to kill the Belmonts just yet, but... Yeah, Chef is going to be enough off stage, and here we are, but going to just chain right back to ledge. Oh, oh, he ate the Holy Fire. Yeah, I mean, you have to be able to find a way to get around the Belmonts' ledge traps, and oh, a good call out from Ojama. Pat God has to find a way to get off this ledge. Don't hang too long. Down Smash going to miss, but Ojama going to get the up out of shield to just reset the situation, get back to neutral, and just barely outspacing that forward smash. Yeah, I mean, this is this is not the situation you want to be in when you're at high percents, especially versus the Belmont, and there it is. The dash hack will close it out. Yeah, Pat God got a little greedy on, kept trying to recover to state instead of just accepting that they needed to go to ledge, which I understand Belmont's very scared scary character to have to deal with at ledge. But even then, like if you can drift off stage and up be above it, you get, you're able to bait um, Ojama into committing to a ledge trap option and able to land at least relatively close to center stage. The mix yeah, up. I mean, going back on Mr. Game & Watch, I don't know if this is the, if a choice that I would make running it back. Uh, you know. Card. But. Ojama leading things off with the long range holy holy water that'll event that can snipe you if you are not careful. But back up. Ojama. Yeah, Ojama. Ojama dead. Oh, just missing the up the up smash holy fire confirmed. Right now, Ojama trying to set up a very solid left trap, but Pack got able to roll through. And classic, this is one thing that I do want to mention in terms of the Belmonts, where if you are too proactive on the ledge, you do essentially hand your opponent an opening to get through your trap. Yeah. But I mean, that's, it's not even really been uh, Ojama's win condition in this matchup. So it's okay to just kind of pressure as long as you're not getting punished for it. And Pat God hasn't really found any heavy punishes on when they're able to get back to the center from his situations. 
Yeah, I mean, right now, Ojama has to find a way out of the corner right now. The chef could cause problem, but the instant reel in will save Ojama from getting any type of gimp. Ojama reclaims the center stage, and this is where the Belmonts, I think, really want to be, especially in the Game & Watch matchup. Like, if you are at even percent, that's fine. If you have Game Watch as a leg, that is also just dandy because you want to find any way to be able to stuff Game and Watch so he's not answering you as a leg, and the fair will close it out. Is that an error or fair? That was the fair. Uh, so, I thought I heard you say fair. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, so Ojama sitting with this comfortable stock lead right now, and Game & Watch, definitely very good character, has very good edge guard options, but they can struggle to kill if they're not able to find, like, a berry or... Maybe just a raw forward air is going to do it because this character does struggle to recover, but able to probably max range tether back to the edge. Ojama is just living forever. I know the Belmonts are heavy, but good lord. I do wish there was a little bit more of an aggressive option from Pac God to try and go off stage and stop the Belmonts, essentially, because it, you can die at 20 at any given moment, but. Yeah, it's one of the fortes of the characters, just that they have such a large disjointed back air that. And the, uh, the range that they have off stage because of their floatiness and their up Yeah. Uh, Pacod did eventually find the stock, though. So yeah, I mean, one thing that we also see is Ojama keeps trying to call out these hard landings that Pacod is going for with the F smash. And this is just leading to free chip damage, essentially, for Pacod. But I think if you do leave out that lingering cross classic, you'll find much more success. And right now, you can see force the air dodge into the axe, and that could have been a kill if it came out a little bit faster. But. Yeah, but Ojump, or sorry, Pat got able to get back down with the down air. Back to neutral here, but even now, he's not really, like, aggressing in the situation. He is going to find the back air that puts Ojama at ledge, but not able to get anything off of it. He's going to end up off stage for his troubles. Yeah, I mean, also in this situation, if you get hit by a bear remotely close to the ledge, you're gone. You're out of there. Yeah. That is a deceptively strong move, and good good awareness from Ojama. You get the, wa the water into the down smash. That is a certain kill, and... Yeah, he's easier to go for than trying to, like, find the tip or spacing on your board smash. So, definitely just run up and do it. But right now, though, uh, this is still 111% on Ojama. Pacod can find the kill relatively soon if they're able to get the hit, but Ojama's just covering Pacod's landings really well. Yeah, and one thing we haven't seen from Ojama yet, either, is the up tilt coming out from the Belmont. You know, the basically, you cover over your head. It is a little bit hard to time, especially versus Game & Watch, but... It is possible to do. Ojama using the long-range bottle also to decent effect as well. But it, Pat God just has to find some answer right now. I mean, center stage has basically been dominated by Ojama all game. Yeah, and right now this might be a dangerous situation. Pat God 100% above Rick or above Simon. We're gonna air dodge through, get back to the platform. But still, this, this isn't enough to get in the game here. Yeah, and the water wasn't back just in time. Ojama did have an idea to go for a read, but unfortunately the projectile was not ready. And the F tilt almost taking it out. Yeah. Pat God has to find footing. Might have been a sus DI right there, but it will survive. But that up B will absolutely take it. Yeah, 130 on a platform against Game & Watch. So Ojama taking it 2 up. Yeah, there is very little that he could have done, especially in that situation. When you do hate the Belmont shield with any option, that's a little bit